In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a basic tutorial on how to use the Rave app in Laser OS for the Laser Dock. So, this is going to cover some of the most basic features of it, and I'm going to do another video for the advanced features like playlists, hotkeys, and favorites. But in this one, we're just going to go over the basic features. So, this little box right here, this is going to show you what your projection is going to look like. And if you have the laser off, this is how you're going to be able to see what it's going to look like. And right above the projection here is the button to turn the laser off and on. Mine is in the off position right now. And if I turn the laser on through that button and I have everything with my laser dock set up properly, you'll see the output right here on the left hand side. That's what it's projecting onto my wall right now. So I'm going to cue that up to play at the same time I'm doing my stuff in the application here. And right under Rave, you're going to see the word abstracts. That is the category. The Rave application comes with all these pre-generated graphics, some of which will move to the beat of the music and some won't. And there's different categories they categorize these graphics into. There's abstracts, there's oscilloscope, there's um, logos, there's a whole bunch of different things in here. And the ones that move with the beat of the music are abstracts, spectrum, and dancers. Those are the ones that will move with the beat of the music and what you have your audio input set to. So those are the ones that are going to work best when you're trying to play some music with them and you want them to kind of dance or go up and down with the beat of the music. Now you can see on the right hand side here there's a full list of all the different pre-generated graphics that come with the Laser OS software. And so these would be all the ones in the abstract category right here. And if I went to a different category this list on the right hand side would change to a different list of that category that I clicked on. So right under the categories is the FX option. You can add different effects to each one of the different graphics you play. So I can play a graphic here and then there's a whole list of different effects I can add to it. Some will make it wavy, some will mess with the color, some will make it zoom in and out. And some of these effects are also audio input sensitive. So for example, uh, there's one that has zooming in and out of the beat. That one reacts to music. And then there's one called shimmer. That one does not. You kind of have to play around with these to figure out which ones are audio input enabled and which ones are not, but you can mix those two to add some pretty cool effects while you are playing music. And like I said, some of these will distort the image and make it zoom in and out or wavy or do some cool things like that, and some of them will change up the colors and the hues of the image. There's a whole bunch of them that are preloaded in here. Right below the FX section is the audio input section where you can select where you want the application to take the audio from. So right here I have it set to speakers on my laptop because I do not have any external microphone plugged in, but you can add different audio inputs to this. So right now it's just going to take the audio from whatever plays over my laptop speakers. So I'm just going to play out some audio here and give you guys a little example of how these, these graphics will react to the beat of your music. So you can see there when I was playing that music, the little sound bar below the audio input was going up and down to the beat of the music. And you could also see the notable difference there was in that animation when I stopped playing the music and how much it moved. So like I said, all the stuff in those categories that are music reactive and some of those effects that are music reactive as well will all move to the beat of the music and what you have your audio input set to. Right below the sound bar is a little adjustable power bar. This lets you change the amount of light that's coming out. So if you are somewhere that's pitch dark, you might not want the full light. You might want like half of it. You can change that using this little slider right here. That will make it dimmer or brighter. Right below the power slider is the color and hue slider. And it has a little arrow all the way to the right hand side that lets you switch from color and hue to what you are adjusting for that particular graphic. The hue slider shifts all existing colors while the color slider shows more of the one selected color. So that's kind of a brief little explanation of how that works and how you can change up the colors of the graphics you are using. And right below that one is the last little slider and that's rotate. This is going to let you rotate whatever graphic or animation you're using. And this one, if you maybe have to mount this thing sideways, you can rotate the graphics so that they are right side up. Or you could just rotate them if you like them better at a 90 degree angle. 
but you can do that and you can combine it with different effects as well. So there are some other categories here and all these different categories have different animations to them. The one that is the most useful for people that are in, say, clubs and they want to use this to go along with music and bands that are playing, the one that's probably going to be most useful for you is going to be the Beam Show one. And the Beam Show is going to give you effects like this. You will need to have kind of like a smoky, foggy room in order to get the full effect. But that one is music input sensitive too, I believe. So that one's going to give you uh, a really cool output when combined with music input. So that's pretty much all the features of the basic rave application tutorial. One thing that I wanted to mention is that the oscilloscope category will not work with microphone audio. It requires loopback audio and specifically should be used with oscilloscope music tracks. And this is one category that's one of my favorites right here that I just wanted to show you guys in closing. This one has a lot of really cool logos and it has some things like Pokemon in here that will spin too. And it's just really cool when you have the ones that spin. There's also an adjustable slider where you can change the rate of the spin to make them spin faster or slower. And that's going to wrap up everything in the basic tutorial for the Rave application in Laser OS. In the next tutorial for the advanced features, I'm going to cover playlists, favorites, hotkeys, imports, and some of the more advanced features of the Rave application.